Welcome back to another video on Gearsaw Studios, and today I'm going to show you how to build a prison for all of your villagers that still won't give you the trade you want. However, before I begin, remember, please like and subscribe, it really helps me out. So, with that, on to the tutorial. For this build's palette, we are going to be using a pretty wide combination of blocks, because remember, we need both the cell area, and we also need the places where the officers can just hang out. So we're going to be using andesite and deep slate in their polished forms, iron bars in replacement for most windows, which will also just be glass if we do need them, deep slate tiles, birch planks for the floor, and dark oak planks for any furniture, and the main block of the build is going to be stone bricks along with their cracked variant. You can include mossy as well. For the cafeteria floor, we're going to be using dark prismarine, and for the lighting, we'll be using some ultra frog light. However, if you're well on those, sea lanterns work pretty well as well. So, looking around, we need a nice flat area, because it's going to be a pretty large thing. It's not just a jail, it's a full-on prison. So, be prepared to make a very large area. So, of course, we don't need this whole area I'm outlining with my cursor. But just something around the lines of that should be pretty good, although even that's a bit of an exaggeration. So just start making a frame for your build, like just a basic blueprint, using some good old polished deep slate, or an easy to break block. So we need one main part, a cafeteria in the back, and then another section so that way there's like a living space. With a bit of terraforming and block placement, we now have a basic, basic design. Like, literally just the shape. So, if you ran out of room, just terraform modal. You can tell this isn't necessarily the most natural looking, especially with the amount of flowers on it from Bone Meal, but anyone can do a little bit of terraforming, even if it's just a 90 degree staircase. And what we have going on here is just basic design. Over here, we're going to have the cells, cafeteria, visitation, armory, and police quarters, a little bit of a yard, and some storage along with the cafe. And we have just a decent design. Now, we need to go vertical, and we'll focus on the specifics of exterior and stuff quite a bit later. But various parts need to be taller, you need like possibly an interrogation room, and maybe showers, you need to have all the things you think would be necessary. So don't be afraid to get a tall building in here. With our frame in, we now need to do the floors of each individual area. So this area also has a little bit dug out, so that way we have some storage. So I'd use deep slate tiles here. For this, this is a visitation area, I'd put birch planks. So placing one or two blocks is a good way to indicate. This is the cafe, dark prismarine. And I'm not going to do every possible thing, so like no showers. So if you are doing showers, dark prismarine again. This is the cell block. So more deep slate tiles. And over here is going to be the lounging area for the officers. So yet again, we use birch planks. So get all your fours in and then we can do our next step. So we have our fours in, and what we want now is to have some walls here. Don't worry about the specifics, just get that sorted so that way we can start making the cells. And you'll be surprised how fast this goes once you have the walls in. Don't do the ceiling for now because if we have the ceiling in, it's going to be very dark and there's going to be mobs if you're in survival. So, of course, you want to do the walls, and place some torches around just temporary stuff. So, I may or may not have just done most of the walls here, and quite honestly, the walls are what we need for now, because the exterior is going to come quite a bit lighter, and it's probably going to be the most daunting part of this whole build. Now, we need to just make the cells. So, I recommend fitting in 12 cells if you have this size area. You can pause the video because I have polished deep slate so you can probably count it, although a bit hard. And 
we just want to make equally sized cells and then stack them up with two block thick areas between them. So let's say this cell is four blocks tall. Then we have a two block thick four. And then we just do it again. And then again. And we can actually fit more cells than I originally thought. So assuming each cell is the same size, we could fit 16 to 20 cells in here. So create just whole boxes, probably about four by four by four or bigger. So we got our cell box in here. I'm going to add an extra layer up here, but besides that, with questionable morality, we now have one cell and it's very small because you know, it's a cell. But anyways, you can see the ultra og lights are being used in there. So, you know, pretty cool. And you just want to repeat this 20 or so times if you're following this exactly. Which I wouldn't recommend because of course I still make mistakes too. Being still a learner of building. But, yeah. Just copy your cell over a lot. And I'll show decorations in the next clip. Now, we got some cells, and they're pretty good looking, at least for what cells are supposed to be. We have, of course, a toilet, because, yeah. And we also have a little bed here, and a little bit of a privacy wall. And that's it. Because, yeah, this is a prison, so what did you expect? Now, we need a spiral staircase in this little area I've designated right here. And... It doesn't have to be spiral, to be honest, but you need some sort of staircase. Don't make it out of dark oak, but just for demonstration purposes, it could go up like this, and then there could be a little bit of a platform here, and then it could go up again. So, nice and easy, and it roughly coincides of where you'd be getting off the staircase, but... You might have to make adjustments to make that work. And that's why I recommend a spiral because just about anywhere you can get off. Instead of using a spiral staircase, I came up with something better. Just whatever you call this kind of staircase. I don't know the official name. Do you guys know it? If so, please comment below. But using this staircase, we can now get to each level. And we have some incomplete platforms here. So that way we can get to each cell. And what we want to do is make guardrails. Pretty simple. And you put slabs on top of it. And don't forget to add lighting all throughout the build. Because once you forget one lighting, you'll end up forgetting more. And the more you forget, the more mobs. And eventually, the creepers will show up. So, you have to be quite careful. Anyways, just place the guardrails. And then this room will be done. Also, add a roof to it once you're done with that, because you have the lighting now, so ceilings are now needed. With the bridges in, the ceiling in, and a lot of lighting, we have just a nice cell block. And repeat this a couple of times, and you got a very large prison. So, it looks pretty cool. And especially with the moody lighting not being completely there, it really adds to the build. Of course, we will have to make another pathway if you didn't connect up everything, where I connected up this, but I forgot to do this somehow. But that's just a little thing I can do off camera. Now, into the kitchen, and we want to start off with the cafe part. So, we just do this, make sure you don't accidentally destroy the floor, and we want roughly two or three tables. So, going across like this, you can see how close it gets to the wall. Make sure it doesn't get too close, you know, give some leeway. And chairs, if you have enough room, you can add them, but I don't think they're truly necessary for a build like this. So, space them out appropriately, and then you can build our tables. After that, every two blocks or so, place down an item frame and have a random food item. Don't necessarily put meat on it, but don't put rotten flesh. So, something in between, such as melon slices and soup. Now, I got some tables, and a little bit of a food display right here, of your 
great options for this prison of your, you know, seven healthy foods. No cookies. And what we want now is to get some kitchen stuff. So going over here to another build of mine, we have some basic kitchen stuff. We have beverage machines, a deep fryer, and water dispensers and stuff you can cook with. But think about it. No one's going to be adding cola and nobody's going to be having deep fried chicken. So really, you can cut down on a lot of supplies. So you can have your smokers, your chest, and your water dispensers. And that's just about what you need. With a little bit of just water fountains. Well, whatever they're called. And some storage in the back. We now have this area done. Although we do need a button on the inside and an iron door here, but I'll do that later. Now we have the teeny tiny courtyard. Admittedly even small for a prison. But anyways, you want to have iron bars going across. And at the top, maybe have a frog light here. Surround it in stairs, so grab some stairs. And then you just continue that across. Then when you do that, replace this area with some gravel and tough, like leave some grass, but make it mostly gravel and tough and other stony blocks. Add a couple of rocks and stuff, and now you have a courtyard. Over here, we now have our courtyard, and it's pretty nice. We got a rock. We have a very, very primitive bench press, and we have a tree. Not much but I'd recommend making yours bigger. But aside from that, we have a little bit more work just done in general that I should have done earlier, and it's time to work on the warden's office. Not a literal skulk warden, just a prison warden. Although you could put a warden in here for some reason, but anyways, you want to make a desk, of course, and then have some slabs, so that way your desk is bigger. You can also include a stair, so one stair, quartz stair, and now that can be our computer directly. Possibly include two monitors, make sure to have chairs on both sides. Essentially, just make an office, fire pots, and paintings. So, and that's basically what you do. And then on top of that, include a window, because there needs to be some way for the prison warden to look over what's happening in the cafeteria in case he needs to get involved if anything happens. Now, we got the warden's office, and it's looking pretty cool in here. I used some pistons, well, in reality, command blocks, but you can use pistons to create a keyboard, dual monitors because he's a gamer, some riot gear, some paintings, a bell, and we just have a nice office. Now, you can probably tell by now we're kind of just doing copy-paste here. Just making unique things for each room. So I'm going to just skip through most of the rooms except the visitation room and the storage room. Because they're just things you do. So this will be interrogation. This will be just hangout. Bunk beds and stuff. Some armory. This is going to be storage which I'll actually show on camera. And this is going to be visitation which I'll, I'll also show. But the rest of them, I'll just show the completed model and tell you how to do them. So, for a quick demonstration of the rooms I just didn't make clips for. Here we have just the lounging area for the cops. Then up here, sleeping area for them. And, of course, I forget some ladders, so... Make sure you remember everything, because, yeah, you'll find them as you go. And then an armory up here, with some armor stands and the lighting. Then we have an interrogation room, literally just a box and some books. We could include a chair, and for stubborn criminals, we have Baby Shark. That should get whatever we need out of them. So, we have a pretty good prison here. However, the exterior is, you know, lacking, and there's no visitation or storage. So, for a visitation room, we're going to be doing something quite simple. We're going to have a line separating the room into two, and we'll want to have segments going across it. So, kind of like this, 
go across the top. And basically you just want to have lines of glass going across with dividers. So make sure they're equal, but that's about it. And we can possibly include a reception area right here. And now we have a good room. Of course, some lighting and all the other details you've probably been adding throughout the build. So, finish that room up, and then we can move on to storage. With this limited visitation area, with a little bit of an entrance, although kind of unofficial, we now have a pretty good prison. We're just missing the exterior, which, yeah, it's going to be a bit of work, and the storage. For the storage, you want to have the walls be lined with some polished andesite. Don't forget your lighting, because, you know, you mobile users won't be able to see back there, so, you know, include lights, ha as you've been doing with the rest of the build. Then, you want to rim this place with some polished deep slate. And after that, you want to have a set of stairs going down. The block doesn't really matter that much, but deep slate tiles, I think, will work good. So, kind of like this, make sure it's the stair variant. And then we can work on the storage crates within. Well, we have the storage area done, and here's how to do boxes. It's quite simple, you can do wooden design, where you have a wood and then a different kind of wood, preferably darker as a wood, or you can have concrete cubes of various sizes. So, quite basic, but it gets the job done. And now, for the part that I've honestly kind of not wanted to do, the exterior. Because you can't just leave this place as just some boxes, although it would be a bit more accurate. However, the first order of business when you do that is just go on to the inside and make the bottom layer of each wall, of course not the whole frames we have right here, polished andesite. It just looks better. So, do that, and grab some sort of accent block that's relatively dark, such as some form of terracotta. With the polished andesite down here, I've also added some cracked blocks to the walls and removed part of the original frame. So, looking good. Now for the exterior, it's finally time to do it, and some of you, you know, might have been looking forward to this, but I'm not necessarily because this is a large build. But essentially, what you need to do is find where the floor begins. So, you know, because we're using two block thick floors here, it can be a little weird, but I would prefer if you were to use the bottom block of them, such as these stairs here. So, find the Y level for them, and then place a block there and hope you're right. So, once you've done that, place your terracotta, then surround that. And you can add some stairs over here. And don't forget some slabs. Because we don't have, you know, omnidirectional stairs without debug stick. And I'm not going to use that. Because I'm going to assume you're in survival. So, just like this. And you connect them across. And don't forget to add several beams in the middle. So, I'll show a little bit of a complete view. With one side of the exterior done. It looks significantly better on this one side only. And, yeah, you just gotta do this whole thing. Make sure you have spikes coming off the top, because that really adds to the menacing factor. Because this is a prison after all, and I'm pretty sure they're meant to be kind of menacing. So, you add the exterior to everything, and then we can add the cell bars and windows, and then we're done. With the exterior done, this place looks quite a bit better. Although I did not do the exterior very well because I kind of misaligned everything. And I forgot certain pieces here and there. It's still pretty decent. So, of course, make sure to always look at your builds before calling them done. Because, you know, you'll end up with missing pieces like I do. But, of course, it's an exterior nevertheless. Which, you know, is better than what we had just a couple clips ago. So, you know, it's pretty decent. Now, we want to work with the iron bars to just make this place a little bit more interesting. So, in the cells, 
and not accidentally take screenshots. Just possibly punch a hole in the wall. And depending on how you built it, you might be able to include cell walls, well, bars, but I kind of misaligned mine. So just add windows throughout, and if you can, add iron bars on the cells that aren't at eye level. With my couple of windows and iron bars, we now have completed this build. And I'd recommend building this, although I've made some grave miscalculations on the exterior. It's still a decent build that you should try, because even if you make mistakes, it's better than nothing. Because although the exterior was kind of poorly designed, it still looks better than just boxes. So with that, it's the end of today's video. If you enjoyed this video, remember, please like and subscribe. It really helps me out. So with that, take care, have a nice day, Gearsaw out. Thank mm -hmm. you.